Good evening, everybody. Sarah's busy Good over here evening. eating herself a candy can. I got mine right here. See? Got those two boxes yesterday. Oh, I didn't even see him the other day. Sarah? Sarah hasn't seen any of Studios Christmas, so. Oh yeah, you haven't even, she hasn't even seen like photos or anything. So we're here tonight to show her all the Christmas stuff and we didn't see the Christmas fireworks. So we're gonna watch that. We're gonna go see whatever they call, I keep calling it Flurry of Fun, which that's what like the whole thing is called. We're gonna go see the uh, projection show because Sarah hasn't seen it in person. And it's gonna be a shorter night in the parks, but full of lots of Christmas magic. Yeah, it's the frozen sequence. I, I didn't catch on the preview night, but like these lights here are super synchronized with all the good stuff. What's that in the air? Is it a, my own personal party? It's a good old Florida snow. It's 80 degrees out. It's like 70. It's like 76. It's like 76. Okay. Muppets, Frozen, Mickey Minnie, Toy Story. That's a good No, they should have bells and Oh, right by right by the theater that does the Beauty and the Beast stage show. That they one. changed the stage show to the Enchanted Christmas. Oh my god, Disney! Take it, take that idea and run with it. Change it to Bells and Enchanted Christmas. There's so many good songs. There's all the good songs. And new characters. Alright, here we go. Okay. Alright, you ready? Yeah. You gotta see, oh look at this TV. Look at the green on the stars. It's all synchronized. Look at how synchronized all the stars are. Woo! Like three prep and landing DVDs or something. All right, Sarah. You've seen two of the four. What do you think so far? Toy Story is your favorite so far? We're closer so I can see better. I think Muppets is next. That's fun. And then Frozen. Do they sing our favorite song? With, no. No, I wish though. You can watch that. No, we're watching a Christmas movie. Okay. Confess what we're doing tonight. Or what we decided today. We decided we're decorating for Christmas. The old rule of thumb is you can't decorate until December 1st. But look at how can we go throughout all of this every single day, all night, all weekend, every, wear our ears, and then go home and not see Christmas. I think we can leave some of our Thanksgiving, we haven't even shown our Thanksgiving decorations. But I think we can keep some of them out, just maybe take away the pumpkins and add in some more greens and reds. Yeah, but have a good mix and then after Thanksgiving go full force. I feel festive. I had my first candy cane, I have the, the taste of Christmas in my mouth. I'm obsessed with everything candy cane. Are we going to look at the Christmas tree now? No, we're doing that after. Happy we're going to get a spot now. I wish, I really want to go to the dessert party. They have a different one just for Christmas. It's called the Christmas dessert party. Clever. We're gonna get a spot for the movie. We have not seen any of the projection shows that they do at studios. I don't know when they started them, how long, anything about them, but I saw, as you saw in the vlog the other day, the movie magic one, haven't seen that. I saw like a minute of it. 
and then we're gonna stay here for yes, yeah, it's a great spot. And we're gonna stay stay here for the Christmas firework projection show. Oh, it's a projection. Um, the movie thing is, I don't know about the Christmas thing because I haven't seen it. Ready? Wait, wait, what did you think of the Power Tower projections? I loved it. It's like weird. It's like I feel like very like Power of Terror isn't meant for that, but it's a good matchup for it. Yeah. And I liked it. I What I really like about it is that it happens all night long. So like once upon a time Magic Kingdom happens once, you have to have a good spot to see it. Whereas like that's just like whatever you want. It's short, but it's still Walk cute. Pass, just yeah. check it out. Yeah, it was good. Can you put up your thumbs so we can give it two thumbs up? Two thumbs up. Look at this production they got going on. How does the how does the theater look, sir? Are you nervous? Um, I don't really have any expectations. It's a ten minute. It's like an exclu It's like a just Disney version of the ending scene of Great Movie Ride. Disney's Hollywood Studios presents Disney Movie Magic. What do you think? That was incredible, I thought. I there's like other movies that you can think that they would have done, but you know that like they're trying to get like the recent ones. There. And they don't want to do the exact same thing that they did at the end of the Great Movie Ride. They wanted it to be reminiscent. Those are just Disney movies. Right, but like they wanted to expand. They they wanted to expand on it. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. Entertaining. I like all the graphics and stuff. I would see it again. I would see it like a hundred thousand more times in different spots, like over there, over there, over there, right here, right over there, right back there, over there. Now you know what time it is. Our first Christmas nighttime spectacular since 2011. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Disney's Hollywood Studios invites you to join us for our Holly Jolly Holiday Spectacular. Get ready for a rockin' good time and enjoy Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell! That just isn't gorgeous. I'm talking about her right here. What do you think? 
This is the first time Sarah's seen the ornaments. Oh yeah. I think this is gorgeous. I love this one. Do we think they did this on purpose or they were like redoing it and they were like, let's just throw a tree in? No, no, no. It's the same tree that used to be in the front. Remember I talked to the cast member? I know, but do you think that they were like, it just worked out with all the construction? No, no I think they planned it. I think they planned it. Look at that little right there. It's absolutely gorgeous though. It is a whole thing part. I wish we could have been here all day. I'm in like vacation mode. I think from being gone, I like come back and I just want to like see it all because I missed it. We're working on it. We're doing magic. We did studios today, magic here tomorrow, Epcot on Saturday, Kennedy Space Center on Sunday. We'll get to Animal Kingdom on Monday. So we're looking for the secret that our friend's dad told us about. And out of nowhere, a piano started playing. This, these are the Grand Lofts on, on Grand, Grand Avenue. So we think what he's trying to show us is behind this wall. So we'll have to wait till this wall's down. I can't wait till the rest of this right here. Just the rest of Grand Avenue opens up because I want to see this corner. I think it's just supposed to sound like the city. Oh my God, it does. You can hear a bus. Yeah. That's super cool. And that window's open, which is a, it's a very, very nice Disney touch. Like, I can see the curtain, like, that window's open. Oh, they're messing up. <laughs> Look at the magic. Christmas music going on. Christmas projections. Christmas Sarah. Ooh, look at all the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I hope some are for me. Wow. Oh, this must be where the, the... Okay, have these palm trees always been so dinky? No, they're new. This must be where they do the, the, the dessert party. That's cool, because then you have the dessert party and then you're right here for the projection show. Let's go sneak into a place and just spend the night. It's super weird to look towards Tower of Terror from this angle and see it all lit up and seasonally. That's a good thing though, I think. We're home, and we have to show you guys a, a, an incredible treasure that we have here. What we, were is gonna, it? we were gonna go see Florida Project tonight at 10, but we decided to not be irresponsible, and we chose to be responsible. So we're gonna go see the Florida Project Saturday because it's showing at Disney Springs. So, but, look at this. Oh, a simple box, do you say? Oh, it's got Santa and his reindeer on there, you say. Just a little Velcro, you say. <laughs> What's in it, you say? <laughs> oh, where? Bum, ba, bum. Everything I know about Christmas, I learned from a little golden book. Christmas on State Street, Chicago. And all of our Christmas movies. See, I told you we have like 16 prep and landings. <laughs> we'll do a giveaway. Closer to Christmas. <laughs> what do we got? We're a riot. We got... Johnny Mathis. Johnny Mathis. I think we stole this. <laughs> Ooh, it goes to Mrs. Muir. <laughs> Not even opened. What are we watching tonight? Oh, the bishop's wife? My mother was calling. Oh, Miracle on 34th Hello. Street, Santa Claus. The world's our oyster. Oh dear, it's working, but you have a lid for that. You can't put that lid in the microwave, though. I'm not, I'm being successful by making popcorn, but not successful by keeping all of the kernels down there. But I just want to see if making popcorn like this would work. And it kind of is, but kind of isn't. Now we're cooking. Look at that. We're getting there. Okay, Sarah's in the phone with her mom. And I wanted a snack, but we haven't gone grocery shopping. We had these kernels left over, or from somewhere. And they're for like an old fashioned like popcorn maker, but I didn't feel like busting out and making a mess. So I made a mess in my microwave instead. I'll clean it out. But look at that. 
It made popcorn. It really worked. I had no faith that it would work. I mean, there's no flavor to this. There's no butter or salt or anything, but it's really good. Usually, this is the opposite way around, and Peter is saying that I'm asleep, and he signs off, but tonight, I'm awake. Just finished up some Playing Crazy Button Club stuff. Um, I got my photos back from the photo shoot that we did the other day, so I'm going to be sharing those hopefully this weekend. Um, yeah, and I just had a couple of orders to figure out. We just got this. I didn't show it at all today. I'll show it tomorrow. I got this really cool organizational um, like drawer set. It has 64 drawers. Um, and it's perfect for our stock so I've been reorganizing that and kind of just getting back into the flow of things and hopefully you know it'll help like we had mentioned before um, just our workflow as well as planning things out and just feeling more accomplished at the end of the day so that is all good other than that tomorrow we have the Christmas party and just a fun weekend so yeah I We'll say good night, and it is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.